my lovely fellow crafters it's terry from vegs tez creates here for fairy stamper today so uh, today i'm going to make a mini slimline card i don't think i've actually made a, a mini slimline card before but i've seen them around quite a bit recently so we've got bonnie here uh, from the latest um release in uh, september who i just think is adorable and so happy that she had to come and live with me and then these gorgeous hanging snowflakes, which it's turning towards autumn now. And so sort of thinking about Christmas and crafting for Christmas and things like that. And I just thought how lovely it would be that Bonnie would be jumping around, celebrating and then have some snowflakes hanging around. So, um... I'm going to do so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a distress ink blended background I'm using tumbled glass salvaged patina and cracked pistachio so I'm going to do it like a gradient um, of blue bluey green and um, green and then I've got a couple of um, a speciality embossing powders so I've got um this nouveau one which is called ocean sparkle which I thought would be nice to stamp bonnie in and then this uh, sparkling snow um from wow which I think I used that in my last but one video um for fairy stamper so i'll link that here now so you can see that's the one where i did the wintry scene with arabella skating on the lake um i really loved that card and this sparkling snow is beautiful it's like um white embossing powder with glitter in it so i thought that would be really really nice for the snowflakes so I'm probably going to have this one in the center and then these this one hanging here and here um so i think that'll be really really cute so first order of the day is ink blending so i've got out um my um wendy vecchi make art station which i often tend to use for ink blending because it's really handy because you get the strong magnets to hold um things in place and then I'm going to just get cracking with the ink blending. Now, I'm hoping this is going to work because um, I only had the reinker for uh, tumbled glass. So I bought some um, some blank um, distress ink pads and uh, I'm just sort of hoping for the best. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's working. I wasn't sure whether I'd put enough in or too much or something, but... Oh, that seems to be fine. It's blending. Just using some inexpensive blending brushes. Um, you could use um just the regular sponge blending tools. What you know, obviously whatever you prefer. Um, for your ink blending. Also, you don't have to use distress oxides. You could use any inks. It's funny how the idea for this uh, card came up because originally I was going to do an ink blended background, probably on a square card, purely made up of the snowflakes. Um, but I had forgotten that they had strings on them. So hanging snowflakes, I was more picturing snowflake snowflakes. So then when I actually picked it up out of my little pot of, uh, well, my little box of fairy stamper stamps, I was like, ah, OK, so they're hanging. And then I spotted Bonnie and I was like, OK, that would make a really nice card. So I just think it's funny sometimes how like card ideas evolve. Do you know what I mean? Do you find that that like you sort of have an idea and then it sort of evolves and, and turns into something sort of similar but different? Um, I'd love to know what you think or if that just happens to me. <laughs> so let me know in the comments. It'd be lovely to know. Um, yeah, so also I'll take this opportunity whilst I'm doing the ink blending um, just to remind you of the uh, Fairy Stamper Hugs Facebook group that we have. Uh, it's a lovely community over there. Um, we have challenges, regular challenges, uh, people sharing their makes um, and a, a regular challenge every month um, to win a gift certificate um, to the store. 
and uh, it's just a really nice place to be and to hang out um, and lots of lovely like supportive like-minded people so um, and you don't just have to use um, fairy stamper hugs stamps as well you you know we're um, it's not a group where you're restricted to using fairy stamper hugs stamps you can use whatever you want to so don't let that put you off um if you think oh well i like to mix my my stamp companies together that's that's fine um you know just if you like making sort of magical mystical whimsical type cards then uh, i think you'll find a lot of inspiration and a lot of friendliness and good vibes over there um so i'm one of the video design team members and um there are a number of us and just in case i'm just telling you this in case this is the first time you've stumbled across um this channel or this video and my video in this channel um so there are a number of us on the uh fairy stamper video design team and we post content most weekdays i think it's pretty much every day there might be the odd day here and there where there isn't a new video but it's it's pretty much every day um so there's lots and lots of inspiration um so if you like to learn and gain inspiration by watching videos then i highly suggest you know that you um check out um some of the other videos on the channel uh what else is there to mention uh i've got my own youtube channel vegs test create so if you want to find out um more about my work and um, that's not fairy stamper related then um the information for my um youtube channel and instagram and whatnot will be in the um description box below um so going back to the card i'm really liking the way this is turning out I think this is a lovely, it, I mean, it's playing it quite safe in terms of a gradient, I think. We've got quite three quite similar colours, really. But that's what you sort of want when you're going for a gradient, isn't it? Um, but these are three colours that I really like, to be honest. So um, I thought that they would look nice together. Um, and they are blending beautifully. Only trouble is, uh, it's gonna take. It does take a while for uh, distress inks and pigment inks to dry. Um, so if you're not uh, that experienced with ink blending, uh, just to bear that in mind. So I'm not gonna be able to do any um, stamping or heat embossing for a little while because um, I need to wait for this ink panel to dry. I could speed it up and use my heat gun. Um, or heat tool uh, to speed it up and, and dry it manually but uh, I'd prefer not to uh, I, I, I prefer just to leave it to dry um, naturally um, because I don't know um, my card always tends to warp when I uh, try and heat set it and I, I know it's not supposed to um, if you get it good and hot first, I've just realized I'm using the wrong, I meant to be using that one. Um, the the rule of thumb is that if you use a, a, a heat tool, once it's really nice and good and hot, then it shouldn't warp the paper, but I always manage to warp the paper. And it's not a big deal, actually. There is um, an easy fix um, if you have wet, warped your paper. What I've found is that, um, if you just put the paper on top of the, um, in, if you get your normal sandwich ready for, that you would do your die cutting with, and then put a piece of uh, plain um, printer paper um, over the top, just so that nothing, no scratches or bits of ink or sticky or anything get onto your panel, put it over the top of your panel and just run that through your die cutting machine it applies the pressure so it makes it all nice and flat again i did that with um a, a card i made um a few days ago because the heating but I, I was rushing it and um i'm well, not rushing just obviously eager to get cracking with my uh with my card but yeah so that's that's a tip for you i think I'm, i really quite like that yeah that looks nice so I will see you back uh, in a moment.
which will actually probably be tomorrow in uh, in real time but in the with the wonders of the internet i shall see you back in a moment and we can get stamping okay my friends so today it's um the following day and the card panel um, that we inked up has dried beautifully i'm really pleased with it it's a really nice uh, smooth gradient um, so now comes the fun part about where to stamp things so um, if you've watched any of my previous videos um, for fairy stamp you'll know that i like to use the acetates um, in order to help with the lining up so i'm going to do this so i want her about here and then I'm going to do the main. Well, I'm going to do the I'm going to do the fairy first, um, whose name is just as a reminder, uh, Bonnie. So I'm going to do Bonnie first, um, because she's going to be in the uh, the nice sparkly turquoisey colour. And then I'm going to do the snowflake second, and they're all going to be in the same colour. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then put the magnets on here to hold this down securely. Remove the acetate. And then I'm going to add my Versamark clear sticky ink embossing um, ink. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be enough of a contrast. Um, so fingers crossed it will. Oh, that looks very cute really nice detail you can see that there I write on the piece of paper um, once I've used it the first time the specific colour of embossing powder that I've used and then I just keep all of the pieces of paper in in the drawer with my uh, heat embossing supplies and I find that really helps um, just to save you know having to get a new sheet of, pa of paper every time because you know it might only seem like a little thing but it, you know it's just wasting it uh, wasting paper uh, I feel so just realized I it didn't go over that in my anti-static powder tool did I so that's not very good however touch wood that looks pretty good to me so I'm heating up my heat gun over there and I know this is quite a similar color but I'm thinking it'll sort of add to the sort of ethereal nature um, you know, the sort of otherworldliness, like maybe, you know, she's semi, semi invisible and um, can only be seen in certain lights. You know, you can just see a sort of glimmer here and there. So um, as long as this comes out, as long as the embossing at itself turns out well, I think this should end up looking nice. Oh, that looks pretty. There we go. So I think that looks really pretty. So on to the next bit. So again, I'm just getting my acetate out and lining, trying to line up the snowflake in the center. Um, I could measure this out, but I'm just eyeballing it to be honest. I tend to find my eyeballs tend to be quite accurate. So, but if you're um, if you find that you often make things wonky, then you might want to uh, just put a little mark in the centre of the um, the card at the top. Um, I'm not I'm not saying that I'm perfect and this won't be wonky, but I'm usually pretty okay. <laughs> Oh, the paper's still hot. Um, you can see how gorgeous 
that is. I think it looks so nice against the background. Um, I am going to go around uh, Bonnie with some um, white gel pen and some sparkly gel pen just to bring, like, to make uh, make her pop a bit more. But I still like the whole, the fact that she's not, like, glaringly obvious. But I just want to bring her a little bit more to the foreground. So I'm going to go ahead and add um, the other two um snowflakes the smaller ones okay so i've stamped the snowflakes and i'm really pleased with the way they've turned out i think they look absolutely gorgeous um as does um bonnie our lovely happy fairy um but unfortunately some of the versamark ink got in a few places when i was stamping um a couple of the images um particularly here it's quite noticeable um so in order to remedy that um what i'm going to do is i'm going to use some sukaneko shimmer spritz and um, so because obviously these are distress oxides and with them um, all distress inks they have that property of being water reactive um i'm actually going to use the the shimmer spray to um lift off some of the pigment so to give it a sort of snowy um effect with sparkle as well and that should hopefully cover up or sort of help the eye ignore those little areas of imperfection so i'm going to do that wait for that to dry and then um go around um bonnie in a white gel pen and then i'm going to mat this onto some um cardstock probably some um holographic cardstock and then um, i'll be back uh, in a moment with the finished card and here we go my friends the completed card uh, i'm really pleased with the way that this one's turned out um i um sprayed that Sukaneko shimmer spritz um and also added some white gel pen dots um sort of like more at the top so it's like heavier snowfall at the top with some light snowfall at the bottom and then I also added a little um snow bank um using some white glitter cardstock and I chose some um, like fuchsia pink to add some details into her wings and also onto her dress. And then um, found some uh, glittery cardstock which matched perfectly. So I'll tilt this in the light for you so you can see. It's got so much sort of sparkle and bling going on. Um, from the, the shimmer spritz and the embossing powders and the glitter um cardstock so i think it's turned out really well um i've left it sentiment free and i think that would be a lovely sort of wintry birthday card um for anyone really an adult a teenager a child um or it'd be a nice christmas card as well so um really quite versatile i think um so yeah um i'd love to know your thoughts what you think um do you like it and uh, what do you think you would use it for do you think you'd use it more for a birthday card um or a christmas card um so yeah just let me know in the comments uh, that'd be great so that's all from me today uh, terry for fairy stamper and i'll see you again in another two weeks bye for now